Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and in this video, I wanna talk about the importance of circling back to thank people that you've learned from. And then the second part is gonna be the importance of attributing things that you've learned to the people that you've learned them from, okay? Uh, so first things first, if you're anything like me, uh, you've had a lot of mentors, maybe you went through courses, you've read books, you've, lift, you've listened to podcasts, you're kind of learning from a lot of different people. Uh, as they say, it, kinda, it takes a village, or uh, you know, another quote that I love is it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. Right? And so throughout that 10 years, you've probably learned uh, from a lot of people a lot of different things. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make uh, is they don't go back and credit the people that they learn from. Now, here's the thing. If you do it, there's kind of a dual purpose and a dual benefit both to you and to them, okay? So first things first, it makes them feel good, right? Everyone wants to uh, feel like they've made a difference. I know as someone, you know, I obviously run a company called Self Publishing School. We teach people how to write and publish books and use those books to grow their business, right? Well, guess what? I love talking about our most successful students because they make me look good and they also make me feel good because I feel like, hey, I've really made a difference in this person's life. So now guess what? If you're that person, I've always tried to be someone's biggest success story. Right? So if you're someone's biggest success story and you just credit them with everything that you've learned versus, hey, look at me, I'm the man, I didn't need any help. Uh, and this is what, honestly, this is what a lot of people do where they just say, oh, I'm, I'm self-made, right? Nobody's self-made. You had a bunch of people help you on the, along the way. So if you're that person, now all of a sudden, the most successful self-publishing school students, we promote the crap out of them, <laughs> right? Like we're, we're putting them in all these videos, we're putting them on all these pages, which is really good for them. It's really good for their book sales. It's really good for their business. So my goal, and I think it should be your goal too, is not only to circle back to the people uh, that you learn from and thank them, but also try to be um, kind of your teachers and the people that you learn from, your mentors, try to be their biggest success story because they're gonna love talking about it. It's gonna make them feel better. It's gonna deepen your relationship because I've got deeper relationships with certain students because they're my biggest success story, right? And I wanna talk to them. I wanna hear how they did it. I wanna promote them. I wanna help them out, right? So you're building a relationship with that person. You're also helping them feel like they made a difference. Uh, and then the big kicker is just like long-term, they're gonna support what you're doing and they're gonna feel good about what you're doing. Right? And so this just kind of creates this, uh, this, this, uh, this flywheel of success, both for you and for them. And they feel really good about helping you. And guess what? They're gonna answer your call when you need additional help. Now, the second thing uh, that I wanna talk about in this is the importance of attributing things that you've learned to the people that you've learned them from. The, one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone clearly has learned something from someone and they just don't give any credit. Like this happens all the time with stuff. Uh, people reteach what they learn at self-publishing school and they just give zero credit. I'm totally fine with sharing the knowledge. Just give credit, right? Give credit to the people uh, that you learn the stuff from. So just think about kind of this in your life. Where can I circle back to thank people for the things that they've taught me? And that's gonna build a relationship. But also, if I've learned something, how do I make sure that every time I talk about it, I give credit where credit's due um, because these are the people that I learn from. There's a lot of hard work, there's a lot of intellectual property, uh, all that stuff in the lessons that they taught me. So that's why I would encourage you is as you kind of go through your journey, circle back and thank people uh, and make it a practice. Uh, also, when you're reteaching or kind of passing down information, I always will just take a second uh, to say, oh, cool, you know, my friend Dan Martell taught me this thing. Or, uh, you know, I learned in this podcast this really great lesson, I wanna share it with you, right? It's so easy to just say that little bite-sized chunk, and in doing so, you're crediting the person that you learned it from. All right, one last thing, actually two last things. Uh, so when you, when you go back to thank people, it actually, and this is, I think, one of the reasons why I'm very teachable, and also um, what I've recognized is that people really like uh, spending time to coach me because they know that I'm actually gonna implement what they teach me, right? So I always, I value their time, and I let them know that I value their time, and so I'll write it down, I'll take notes, I'll really absorb it, and then I'll go out in the real world and implement it, and then I always circle back and then those people say oh wow okay Chandler my time spent with Chandler that was time well spent right so they kind of earmark that and anytime I have a question somehow that magically jumps to the top of the list because they know that I'm gonna actually use what they said right there's nothing more frustrating than teaching someone something and then they just don't do it 
right? I have that happen to me sometimes where I invest all this time in someone and they don't do it. And then guess what? Anytime they come back to me for advice, for coaching, for anything like that, I'm not interested because they didn't do what I taught them the last time, right? So I'm almost creating this uh, culture of where they really like helping me. Uh, and then the, the, the actual last thing here is you're going to see this throughout these videos. So these principle videos, this concept itself comes from Nere Dalio, right? So his principles book, that's where I learned this from. That was the inspiration to record all these principles videos. And then throughout the other videos, you're going to hear me talk about a playbook that comes from Dan Martell. You're going to hear me talk about kind of, I will credit all kinds of people that I learned these little things uh, from in the actual videos themselves. So keep watching, checking out some of the other principles videos, and I think you're going to see this concept in action. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.